Hi guys, welcome back. Um, hey, um, time for a new... Uh, 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 video. <laughs> All right, I haven't had... Oh, okay, it's one small beer. Uh, I'm very, very honest. Um, hey, um, I have briefly mentioned in my uh, previous videos about Belgium wheat beer. This citrusy wheat, which I was brewing. Uh, and here it is. Look at that carbonation. Oh yeah. That's like... That's, that's what I want to see. Whoa. Very nice head. Um, clarity is good. Or is it good? The thing is, this was supposed to be a wheat. Like a hook garden wheat type of beer. Clearly it isn't. <laughs> it's good. Um, definitely from the first sip you can taste that this is a Belgium beer because it has this spicy peppery note to it. To me, which is at, at least this kind of a kind of a trademark of a Belgium uh, wheat beer. Uh, citrusy, not at all. I don't, I don't taste any kind of citrus here. Um, it was supposed to be cloudy and white-ish or yellow-ish. Uh, similar color. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, similar color to a, let's say, um, well, something like Napa style. Or if you are familiar with Hoogarden, and I'm, I'm sure that you are, that kind of beer, or Cronenborg um, Blonde, which is this like super citrusy uh, wheat beer. Um, but yeah, what happened? I don't. The recipe is from my local homebrew shop. Um, they, I, I brew with Grainfather. They brew the pats with this Braumühle or whatnot. But I kind of thought that it doesn't really matter what's the device. The device doesn't make the beer. Um, it did have like... Majority of the grist was this flaked this and that. And unmalted this and that, especially wheat. Uh, so all the elements were there. To this beer to be this... this and it has had this Belgium uh, uh, wheat um, smack, the company who does the smack pack. In, uh, no, uh, why yeast? Yeah, why yeast? Belgium wheat uh, yeast. So what happened? I don't know. Uh, it's it's okay, good. It's a good, good refreshing uh, wheat beer with this spicy Belgium character. So I'm okay. I, I, <laughs> the next time I'm going to try to make this, I'm not going to trust anyone's recipe, but to make my own, which is based on research, etc. All right. Um, and the sad thing that I was supposed to send this out, I was supposed to send this to uh, Justin Dean, uh, to UK and, and uh, BSP Homebrew over to Sweden. And actually, I have a friend in Ireland, I was supposed to send it there as well. So, what now? Um, I was planning that I will prove something else, uh, make a success of that and send that instead. But the guys has been waiting uh, for my beer mail at least a month or even a two. So, I need to get moving. So then I kind of realized that, hey, what a good idea. Justin, an excellent brewer. Jonas from BSP Home Brew, excellent brewer. I will send this beer out to them, despite not hitting the style that I was wanting. I will send it out to them, um, and I will make sure that they will get the uh, recipe as well, just to ask that what do they think that went wrong, or what should I do the next time to make it more as it receive it as it was supposed to be. And no, this is not to test, you know, do you know hmm, what to do now here? Just kind of uh, completely um, uh, friendly request for help. 
Um, I'll do that. A beer spray homebrew, I, this could be a good good uh, um, topic for your channel as well. You know, okay, a friend sent me this uh, it <laughs> and it's a, it's a kind of a cook up, kind of a, yeah, yeah so. Uh, so yeah, um, so Justin Dean as well, I will, <laughs> your cardboard box will be going out uh, back to UK during this week. If nothing kind of surprising happens. This is a real foamer, so I don't know how, how am I going to bottle it. Um, I have um, brand new unused plastic bottles with brand new um, uh, uh, PET corks or caps with the color on um, to go with it. And also, Jonas and Justin, I will send you a small bonus in the box as well. All right, so that is what I'm actually right after this video, I'm going to look into the puddling and let's see if I can get that bugger into a puddle. Um, well, that's what's happening here now. Um, yeah, hey, cool. If you haven't subscribed, this is the perfect moment. Ding, ding, subscribe, hit that bell sign. You will get notified when I post new content. Um, yeah, summer is soon here. I will be brewing my uh, signature lager soon, which is for those who like those really, really light lagers. It's, it's like a real nice one. Um, yeah, so that might be a one video coming up. Um, and what else? Yeah, I have actually footage of me brewing this damn beer, so I might create kind of a grain, grain, grain to glass of that. Let's see how much editing time I have in my hands. That's all, folks. Keep it short. Seven minutes. This is a new record. All right, cool. Ding, 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 ding. Have a nice day. See you soon. Bye. Thank you for watching.